Today I want to talk to you about what's called NEAT, N-E-A-T, which means non-exercise activity thermogenesis, which is basically the energy we use for our daily activities. Things like house cleaning, dishwashing, putting your laundry away, walking from here to there, walking to the train station, going up and down the stairs, things that we normally ordinarily wouldn't think of as typical exercise, but still burns a significant amount of calories on a, on a daily basis. So we often don't think about the effect of NEAT as far as energy management or weight management. And it actually plays a, a significant role once you think about it. So this is why with the popularity of the 10,000 steps a day um, as a good goal to work towards. It's basically working under improving the non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So one thing I wanna, airplanes. One thing I want to uh, challenge or throw at you is to improve your, your NEAT, not so much for the purpose of weight loss but for weight management if you're going for weight loss that's great it'll help you but for weight management in general which is really for overall health uh, of one's metabolism so we want to be able to use the fuels the fats and carbohydrates through our food and get it to the right areas in our body so that we could do what we need to do as far as um, being human beings so one challenge I have is doing 10 bodyweight squats for every hour, waking hour. So let's assume the average person is awake 16 hours of the day. That would be a total of 160 bodyweight squats per day, right? Now, these are bodyweight squats. This isn't with uh, a weight, lifting weights. This is just your own body weight. So, and it's not, as if you have to do a perfect full body squat like a baby, as they would say. It's more of you do as full of a squat as you comfortably can without hurting yourself um, overall, okay? So for some people, they might not be able to squat all the way down to the floor, so you move within a pain-free range of motion. And then obviously, uh, as you start to improve, work your way up to greater ranges of mobility. So let's do a little bit of math. So let's assume the average person is awake 16 hours of the day, 10 bodyweight squats per hour, that's 160 bodyweight squats. And let's assume it's gonna vary, we don't really know how many calories burned per squat, but uh, if you do a Google search, I think I found an average, depending on your body weight as well, about roughly about two calories per 10 bodyweight squats in general. So just to make the math easy. so. If you're doing 160 body weight squats a day, that's theoretically 320 calories that you just used up. That's 320 calories that it's not really gonna feel much if you're doing 10 body weight squats per hour that you're awake. And so if you add that up throughout the week, in one week, that's about 2,240 calories. That's a lot of that's a lot of burned calories, right? So if you didn't change the way you're eating right now, that's a significant amount of energy utilized. And so if your goal is for weight loss, that would actually be a, a, a no-brainer as far as something to do or think about doing. So that's really my challenge is to try that for at least three weeks or a month. I don't know, it just seems like a good number um, to feel or to actually see significant benefit from it. So again, it's not so much for weight loss, and I'm not saying that you're gonna be ripped up and have under 10% body fat as a result of doing this, but I want you to pay more attention to um, how has this added or benefited you as a result of doing this somewhat minor activity that shouldn't really take a lot out of you, and you should be able to recover relatively quickly from the activity. We tend to do too much too soon that our body can't recover. 
it's forcing it to go undergo more stress to compensate more, which actually puts more strain to the overall system. So the idea is to do these low level, uh, low intensity prolonged activities that requires some energy expenditure, but not in a way that takes away. So it's like adding pennies to your savings account, not thinking much that what are pennies gonna do a day, but over the years, you're gonna be grateful that you did do that because over the years it adds up. So it's the little things that really do add up that we take for granted. So that's the whole point of this challenge. So 10 bodyweight squats for every waking hour for at least three or four weeks. Try it out. Just some quick pointers on squatting in general, body weight, in, body weight squat in general, is preferably I'd recommend doing it barefoot so you can feel the ground, but obviously you're not gonna always be barefoot uh, throughout the day, so just uh, do the best you can. So first thing is grounding, suction your feet to the floor, like I always say, so that no aspect of your, f your feet and your shoe come off the floor. Not just when you're setting up, but throughout the whole movement as you go down and come back up. Throughout the 10 repetitions, keep your feet suctioned down into the floor so no aspect of the feet and your shoes come off. Two, think of keeping your shoulders on top of the mid, mid part of your foot, right? This way, you, as I say, stack the blocks. You wanna keep your shoulders more over your base of support, right? And three, have your hands in front of you with your elbows in a little bit like this, okay? And then as you squat down, keeping the shoulders on top of the feet, that just makes things a little bit more together, if that means anything. Also, feel free to modify the squat based on your situation. So sometimes people have difficulty just doing 10 bodyweight squats unsupported. You could also hold on to something, um, preferably something sturdy, or sometimes I recommend people to go in the door frame, the moldings on the door frame, you can hold on to there, and then do your bodyweight squats supported. So the idea is to do some form of the squatting uh, activity 10 times every waking hour. So another variation is to just get up and down from your chair, sit down and stand up 10 times, right? And again, you're only moving through a pain-free range, uh, range of motion, okay? Uh, it should not make you feel worse as a result there of the activity.